Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. The Brown Bombers making his way to the ring now, and he looks very focused for this fight. Hit Dynamite's poise is one of those things that cannot be denied. This is a very confident fight. The Brown Bomber, Wilder! Here's that first hit. Kid Remember guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up. is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Protecting his head well with his guard. Hit Dynamite. He's doing a thing. He's just standing there. What in the world is he doing? Well, what he's doing is he's telling you I'm not confident. I'm not sure of myself. I don't know what to do. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Kid Dynamite's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. He comes with a straight right hand. Halfway through this round here. The Brown Bomber scoring with that right hand. Come on now, keep your feet moving. Come on now. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go out there now. Come on now, let me see you. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Kid Dynamite's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two punch combination landing. Left to the body. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the Brown Bomber. Nice work with the left hand. Lands a big hook. A sharp hook to the head by Kid Dynamite. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Kid Dynamite. And now he's targeting upstairs. The Brown Bomber is able to land at a good connect percentage. Look at the punch stats. Get careless out here. Keep up. Here we go. Round two is underway. Kid Dynamite's got a little hop in his step as he's ready to start this round. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. The Brown Bombers well off the mark that time. Well with the hook. Go, go. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Move those feet. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Around the ring. <laughs> Look. 
little volume punching to the body there. Keep working the body. Not able to land the uppercut. Nice. Nice. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the Brown Bomber. Kid Dynamite's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. That's a razor-sharp uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Well-placed shot. Came after a nice defensive move there. Good block. Big punch down. No doubt about it. You are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. Look at me. And round number three is underway. A crushing two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. The Brown Bombers feeling the sting of that big uppercut. That worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. That is a sharp uppercut by the Brown Bomber. Comes right back at him with a left hand. There's the combo downstairs. Not an accurate hook at all. Kid Dynamite's opponent able to land a sharp counterpunch. Solid. He was standing up to it, but now he goes down for the first time. Give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Kid Dynamite's combination punching is working well here. That's a good sharp hook by Kid Dynamite. Big power punch by the Brown Bomber. Well targeted right hand by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Forceful jab by Kid Dynamite. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. Corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. And that's the end of round three. That's it. I need another round just like that, all right? You're doing fantastic. Beginning of round number four, Teddy, the way your scorecard reads, he's up three rounds to zip. Good, accurate punching, earning him that lead. Yeah, very conservative, hasn't wasted anything, but as you just touched on, has made everything count. Scored well up top. Kid Dynamite's three-punch combination there is gonna impress the judges. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Able to cut down that ring and just push his opponent against the ropes. It's all right, keep moving, keep moving. A hammering hook to the head by the Brown Bomber. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whip, the old great Willie Pet. Made him miss, made him pay. Good job on the two punch combo by Kid Dynamite. And now a well placed hook to the head. Right to the head with that right. Oh, you see him with the left to the head there? Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. The Brown Bombers doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Targeting a left hand to the body. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. What a demolishing hook by the Brown Bomber. Kid 
Kid Dynamite's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. That's a nice right hand that time by Kid Dynamite. You know, it's one thing to be a catcher in baseball, but you don't want... The Brown Bombers! The big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Round number five has arrived. Hit Dynamite's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. A little something of his own. Blocks a shot, brings back the uppercut. And oh, what a good strong uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Good counter punch. That straight right unable to connect. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. There's the hook. Kid Dynamite's corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring too consistently. Exactly, Joe. There's nothing else. But... Did you see that? Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly... Oh, that's got to hurt. How is this going to go on once again he hits the deck? Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. One, two... This fight is over. Hit Dynamite's night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance, he couldn't rise up and beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, the I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. The Brown Bombers, your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. Well, I'm glad you liked it, and just as importantly, or more importantly, his trainer, his manager, and his promoter like it, because that means that he's gonna be easy to sell now to television. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.